Hello and welcome to Practical Caravan. Today I'm sat in a Swift Challenger Sport, an all new range for Swift Group that replaces the old Charisma at the entry level to the Swift lineup. This we're sat in here is the 442 model, which replaces the old 230 as an end washroom two berth. Now last year, Swift launched the new Challenger and Conqueror models with a swoopy stylish front end which had a lot of automotive cues in the design. And this has now been carried into the Challenger Sport range. But this isn't really a relative of those ranges in the way it's built. This is an all new body shell from the ground up. Still got the same optional roof window and has really swoopy good looks again. But it's lighter, smaller van and the big selling point of this is low weight. Outside, it's got everything we expect of a Swift. Show-stopping good looks, new full-height rear panel really sets the looks off nicely, one-piece sidewalls and very thick aluminium so they look ripple-free as you look down the sides. It's just all the details are absolutely spot on. The warning rails are concealed on the way around and the corner joints, even where they join, are covered with a nice plastic finisher. Just looks super smart. At night, a massive front lounge translates into a massive double bed. It's very easy to set up as well. The pull-out slats are in runners, so they can't drop out and fall in the gap between the beds, which used to be a massive problem. And there's lights in all four corners, and useful space during the night to have a side table, glass of water, glasses, whatever you need. It's a really usable space and nothing at all to complain about in here. I'm in the Challenger Sport 442's kitchen here. It's a relatively small space, but it's a standard side kitchen arrangement. Full cooker with an electric hot plate, which is very handy if the gas runs out. But you've still got three gas burners, a separate grill, and a separate oven. There's a microwave oven mounted at relatively low height, so you're not going to burn yourself getting stuff in and out unless you're quite short. The sideways opening cupboards at the top provide most of the storage. There's another locker down there, but really I think you're going to end up using the space on this side for some of the storage for kitchen stuff. The worktop area is limited. It's got a clip-on drainer here so you can remove that to free up a bit of workspace although well, there is a workspace extension at that end it could come in very useful if you're getting a bit tight. The 442's wash area works really well it's got a very large wardrobe with 130 degree hinges so you get excellent access it's got a toilet on one side which is a bit close to the wall but the bowl swivels out the way that means you get good access to the wardrobe and it's not a bad compromise to make the shower cubicle is large access is a little bit tight but once you're in there the head of the shower moves up and down easily and it's got a tap on it so that you don't waste water very clever thinking the sink is big and looks very impressive and the only thing we don't like is the towel ring hung directly above the toilet paper dispenser put a damp towel on there and you're going to have wet toilet paper which is just a bit silly so the Challenger Sport 442 has Alco ATC as standard, stunning good looks, an optional roof window, and it marries cutting edge style with a traditional well-proven layout. We're really struggling to find things to say that don't sing its praises, aside from a couple of very minor niggles. And the biggest question for us is, why would you want to upgrade to a Challenger 480? This has got it all.